Hey, I'm Suzanne Caldera with Guaranteed Rate, and you may have stumbled across my page because maybe you were looking for a real estate agent or maybe you're one of my followers. Uh, this morning, I'm excited that I get a chance to hang out with Jason Arujo of HomeSmart Heritage, a broker owner who is just building something great. Jason, thanks so much for joining. Thank you for having me. I want people to get to know you. Like, I really want people to know, you know, your your growth has just really, really impressed me with how many agents that you've had sign on with you and, you know, have bought into your vision and uh, believe in what you're building. What made you do this? Like, what made you say like, hey, you know what? I, I want to go about doing this. Truly, it was um, the feeling of sometimes feeling underappreciated, you know? I think that's, a, that's, that's why a lot of people do uh, career changes and they do what they do. You know, I always thought about financially, you know, does the person that I'm working for, have they really contributed to my growth as an agent? Do they really deserve that large of a cut? So um, it was a search for a better way and I, uh, I stumbled on Homestar. That's why I'm here and that's what I'm trying to create here in Southern New England, Cape and the Islands. Yeah, that's awesome. And now for, um, for agents, it just, just talk to me about that. Like what were some of the reasons that, that you felt like, gee, you know what? I, I don't feel like my broker owner cares. And I'm not saying that you had to call somebody out, but what were, what were some of the things that either you felt or maybe agents that you've recruited have said that they felt? Sure. Sure. So, you know, <clears throat> when I got, my first got into the industry, uh, being very new, I almost needed to be handheld, you know? Um, I wish I was, you know, for the massive cut that my first broker took from me, um, just wasn't getting that kind of guidance. Um, this person shut off their phone at five o'clock. And if you're in real estate, a five o'clock shut off, and, <laughs> and when you're new, especially, every, every tree is burning around you. <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, I think we, we may have had a couple of those conversations, Suzanne, when I was yeah. first getting getting going. Um, so it, it was just that lack of support. I always felt alone and I made a lot of mistakes, mistake, mistakes that were truly unnecessary. So, um, and you know, that's what I'm trying to fix here with my own brokerage. Um, I knew my mistakes. I knew what I felt like I'm, what I was lacking, and I'm trying to correct it here. So, you know, trying to do the weekly uh, trainings and and also really importantly, more than the trainings, is just that, that call to the agent. Hey, how are you doing? I haven't forgotten about you. You're here. Do you need me? Don't, you know, just don't ever hesitate to text me or call me. I want to make sure I'm always available. I think that's great because I think that you know, when you are new, um, you can almost feel like you're you're on an island, and uh, in that you know you're running you're running your own uh, business. But if you don't have that support from the person whose name is on is on the office, regardless of whether they're a franchise or a sole owner, uh, I I think that that's got to be disheartening for an agent, right? Well, you, you, you tend to, a lot of agents tend to give up very quickly. That's why there's such a high turnover with agents. You know, uh, once they see how difficult it is, and then when they need to turn to someone and that person just isn't there like they promised, you know, that's why they end up falling off. So here's hoping I can correct or at least contribute to correcting that problem here at HomeSmart. And I think that's one of the reasons for your growth is that you're really, you're really walking it. You're, t you're walking the talk or talking the walk, or I always mess up normal <laughs> sayings in that, yeah. you know, you're, you're building this, but in, in any of the agents that I speak with, it, they're just so happy uh, with all the support and everything, everything that, uh, that you provide them. So, um, you know, kudos to you uh, in that, Jason. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm wondering from, you know, from a broker owner perspective, who, have you found yet who that ideal agent is? Um, you know, like what are some of their characteristics? Like what speaks to you as a broker owner uh, where you can say, you know what? Yeah, this is a, this is a, a heritage or home smart heritage agent. Drive. 
when I sit down with an agent and some some people just exhume it, they just you they it just radiates off of them. Um, and a lot of my agents have that. They have the drive and they want to learn. They really want to succeed. When you're sitting down with someone, you can generally feel it within the first five minutes. That's how I really choose people to get on. Um, if they can show me their work ethic and, and that they actually want it, you're, you, you're, you have me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now talk to me about, um, you know, yes, you, you selected HomeSmart. I'm sure you had a lot of choices sure. um, um, yeah. that, you, that you could have selected as far as a franchise. What are, uh, what are some of the things that, uh, that agents are provided with? Uh, that uh, that you found as as wows for agents. The training, uh, you know, of course, the flat fee model. That's that was the first wow wow factor for me. Um, really, a broker doesn't need thirty percent. I can survive on just a flat fee. Okay, yeah, I'm listening. You got my attention, but then it was what was inside. The amount of training that this company provides that comes right from home smart corporate in arizona broadcasting live usually throughout the nation it, that stunned me i've never worked at a brokerage where that was now i'm not saying that that's not available elsewhere me personally never worked for brokerage like that um and then you know partnered with a couple of other things that, uh, you know, the, the marketing that's free, that's in our all-in-one system. We have an amazing marketing design center that's just so full of free tools for the agent that you don't have to go out and hire a separate company for. That was the other thing. I mean, it gives, uh, it gives the agent complete marketing and knowledge to go out to the field and really kill it out there. So that, uh, that was one of the, those were all the factors that really made me decide, hey, home smart's the way to go. I would think that 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 helps to speak to uh, to an agent, especially especially if they're if they're new, and yeah. uh, and think of when you were new. Um, imagine having all those tools uh, at your yeah. uh, at your disposal instead of having to uh, to create the wheel. Uh, the wheel's created for you. You just I'm thinking it's is it more like a plug and play? Like if I was your agent, I could say, okay, I want this type of flyer, or I would like to get this type of piece for my listing presentation. That's all it is. And there's different things to each to each personality of an agent. So it's not just that one home smart blanketed thing. We have little funny memes. I mean, we have so many different things. It, it's all catered to multiple multiple personalities. Well, that doesn't sound right. Multiple <laughs> types of personalities. <laughs> hey, you know what? Many agents do have multiple personalities, Jason. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I think you have yeah. to. Uh, so. I, th I think you do. I think you do in our business. Uh, and I, I think too, somebody, somebody like you, that's that's actively sold to and and not been so many years removed. Like you know what they're going yeah. through. Yeah. No. Truly, um, some of the issues that. Being on this side all of a sudden, and I don't mean to giggle, but when I have an agent coming at me and they're um, so flustered <laughs> and it's an issue that I've encountered multiple times, it's kind of cool to be able to, it's a different way. It's a different way for me to sell. It's, it's a complete role reverse. I'm actually quite enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's next? You know, have you, have you thought like, gee, I... You know, I would love to have X agents or, or what does that look like? If you can share. So as of yesterday, we actually hit 28 agents. Awesome. Um, and as you know, Suzanne, we opened up in January, right before the apocalypse happens, <laughs> uh, pandemic. Um, so since then, we've opened up our second location in Mashpee, uh, Mashpee Mass. And uh, we're about to announce in, in the coming weeks, a third location, uh, more here locally. Um, next year's goal is a hundred agents. I mean, we've hit, you know, the 28 during a pandemic in our first year of business. Why not a hundred? So stay tuned. Yeah. And I say, <laughs> I say, why not you? And I, I really hope that, uh, that anyone that either follows my page, that's uh, that's a realtor or who I'm, I'm connected to, uh, reaches out to you, you know, especially if they, uh, if they have a split that's maybe more more catered to their broker owner as as a part of the instead yeah. of themselves, it see it really seems like this is an agent first 
franchise. You know, Suzanne, it truly is. And and I want to touch on something. You know, mm -hmm. it's not really about how much you're giving your broker. It's more about how much the broker is giving to you. And if you're in that position where you're where, where you're giving up the 30% or 20% or even 40, I've, I've actually sat down with a couple of agents that are still um, here on the Cape. It, it's really prevalent here, a 60-40 split, which I haven't had since I was a brand new agent. And it's stunning to me. Um, you sit down with people and you ask them, well, what do you get besides for the name of the brokerage? For anyone who's listening to this, if just look at your current employment, look, look at your broker. Do they really contribute to that 40% or are you just paying for the name of the brokerage? If you can simply ask your question that, ask that question. Uh, and if you don't know what that true answer is, give me a call, have a conversation. Yeah, I think that says it all. I, I really, really do. Yeah. And and I'm excited to watch the uh, to watch the growth and uh, and and to see everything that you that you do in the future. Thanks so much, Jason.